Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more <laughs> Astro Dark. We are going to be playing with the Blood Mage on Corruption 7. So this character seems very weird. Lose 5% of your current HP every two seconds. Heal the weakest adjacent hero for the amount lost. If you are the weakest, instead deal the amount lost as piercing damage to your target. So he cannot heal himself through that means, at the very least. His active, 150% attack damage and 20% of the damage you have taken this combat to your target, heal for the damage dealt, and then reset the damage taken. So, it's, <laughs> it's, it's that's a very weird one. He, he takes a hell of a lot of damage over time. What do we want to put with it? We I feel like we need a healer to go with it, right? Maybe, maybe it can last on its own later, but we need it. We need a healer now for the very beginning. Uh, what do we do with the wild mage? Do we bring you? You're at zero. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know that I necessarily think the wild mage is great. I feel like we go in and we wild burst. We go for the wild burst build. We need a support to go with this, though. And a heal. Like, we need heals because of the damage over time. We could bring in the Bard. We could bring in the Warlock, I guess. We could bring in... Let's bring in the... Let's bring in the Druid. Bring in the Druids! So, what do we want to do here? We could go for an increased max HP. We could reduce... Let's reduce active ability cost. That brings that down to 60. I know that it will slowly reduce itself more and more over time there. Uh, mirror paint, I feel like we do want to cast it more often. It's not as good as upgrading like something else for the active uh, or for MP cost reduction. I don't know who we want to tank, though. Uh, so yeah, it's not as good as somebody else for MP cost reduction because... It does reset that damage dealt, so it's kind of just like... It, it's it's good because it will help keep him alive longer. I don't know that at 650 HP and 30 defense that he is necessarily a tank yet. I think that it could turn into basically uh, like the brawler but way better. I think it could eventually get there. Huh. Huh. What if we did that? That'd be super weird. Let's give, let's give, we'll give it to you. You got a you got a freaking shield. Sure, you should be able to live, right? Huh. That is quite the smacking, but that does make it so he is the guaranteed target of the first heal, which is, I would say, not super great. If you were the weakest instead. Oh, that's so weird. Okay. All right. What do we, what the hell do we do here? What the hell do we do here? I was hoping we'd get some kind of a uh, safety thing. This is the only thing that is kind of safety. In this current moment. Because frost application would be really good for us. You do uh, poison to adjacent. Unfortunately, you only heal... A Both of you only heal adjacent. Hmm. Okay. Give him the negate. Every negate just blocks one attack. So it's not, it's not that big of a deal. Where the heck... Where the heck are the good old defensive items? I'm happy to have this, but these all, I think, are going to function better on somebody else. <laughs> I think they'll function better on somebody else. Get down here. Who do we want to tank? Hmm. 
transfusion. It's so, so, so interesting. So weird. We'll, we'll have the druid tank for now. He's not even gonna, yeah, that's the problem. He's not gonna apply the healing to himself. The blood mage will, will hopefully heal there. Okay, 20 more mana per second. That's interesting. I think, I mean, it's also health. Sure. We'll start that there. I don't think we need to adjust. Oh, don't think we need to adjust anything really there for, for certain. Okay. It's going to be AoE piercing. Thankfully, the healing from that did indeed go on to the druid. It's not doing enough, though. The f Genuinely, the fact that the wild mage is eating that first heal every time without fail due to the uh, warlord's burden is a bit of a burden. I think we should maybe even adjust it, like adjust him to being in a like a different formation like that. Um Sure. Passive I feel like, uh, you know what, it's the Blood Mage's first time out on the town. Let's give him a little bit of love. We'll give him a little bit of love. Well, you have one or less adjacent allies. You and an adjacent ally gain 12 shield per second. It's it's very interesting, I, I will certainly say. Uh, that's not a bad idea. That's That's not a bad idea. I mean, that's a lot. 40 attack and, what's it, 30% speed. That That is pretty extreme. Let's get stupid. Let's get stupid. Let's stay stupid. <laughs> this is probably a better, one, a better way of putting it there. Let's stay stupid. Major blessing for every morale. Uh, okay, well, we currently have 13. So, not great in that regard. Who be tanking? Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, okay. I see this going I see this going pretty decent. That wild mage's damage is bonkers. Yeah. Here's the problem. I I really want to upgrade all of this stuff. You know what? It's it's your day, Blood Mage. It's your day. I don't think anybody has anything to do with adjacency. Doesn't matter where you are. They're all gonna... Yeah. They're all gonna just do their thing there. So every two seconds you get healed for 60-something HP? That's, that's pretty darn good. Pretty darn good, pretty darn good. That wild mage damage is out of control. <laughs> Absolutely out of control. I need health. I'm just I'm just pretty much picking anything that I see that has health on it in practically any way. Okay. Yeah, this is just like this is just raw attack damage power right there. That's what that is. Wow. And ladies and gentlemen, I found it. Saints Vow. Hello. 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 45 HP, and it's just going to just... It's just going to get better. Okay. All right. I mean, that just seems, frankly, like 
the most synergistic thing is just give this guy so much health. Every two seconds we heal, uh, it just, it's crazy. Uh... Hmm. Huh. Vampiric guard. Okay. It's 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 good. It says yeah, it's of all the damage. Oh my jeez. Oh my god. I don't, I don't I I'll be real I really don't love that but that seems kind of massive all right all right we're being being a bit silly with some of this here fine I'll sacrifice eight morale we get an upgraded item certainly don't hate that Probably should have got the tower shield, though. This is Spider Boy. And by that, I mean Urgat. This is... This is okay, I think. Um, it's not immune to frost. Okay. Alright. Let's hopefully be okay here. Come on now. That, that's a huge heal. I, I think we made a mistake, though. Oh, boy. Nope. Blood Mage's damage is preposterous. Oh, my God. Huh. I've got a, I've got a big dumb idea. Wow, what do we do here? <laughs> wow, what is our plan? There's so many times where I feel like because of single target heals, I just can't really slot in the illusionist. Unless I, I could slot in the illusionist... No, it just doesn't. No, it's just not gonna work. It's it's gonna eat all of our blood mage and druid stuff. If we slotted him in here, he could just create a wall over there. It's it's not bad. I don't hate the idea of the outlaw. I don't hate the idea of the alchemist. Da 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 dee do da 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 dee ba dee ba dee dee da da da. Oh boy! What else would we do? What else would we bring? We could bring in the Frostmancer. That's actually not a bad call. Let's do it. Scales all like all right by attack damage and good old backline WPX of potions almost certainly always. It's just so weirdly good. Uh, these takeaway status effects. These this one has healing reduction. No, what am I talking about? Yeah, no, 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 no. That's right. All right, buff that up. All right, we're just going for max healing. I just I kind of want to... just want to see how this goes. If we did something like that. Okay. What does this look like? It takes some ramping up.
And he can't get more shield than he has max HP. That's the... That's the problem. Hmm. Hmm. You will be attacking him. And also, the other issue is he's just not going to be missing very much. We want the healers together. Shoot. I don't know why. I mean, I picked it because it was upgraded. I guess that's why. Also, I definitely made a mistake in that front. That was not who I wanted to have be our tank right there. But we're going to be... We're going to be fine. Wild Mage is doing some wild damage. Absolutely crazy. Eh. What's the next combat? We can't make it an elite, so let's just gain a solitary holy water with a little bit of a frown. Just a little bit of a frown. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. We get the extra speed right away here, too. That that Blood Mage damage is just crazy. It's huge, man. Oh, no, you didn't. I don't. I feel like I don't need that right now. I'm not saying we don't need that later. We don't want that later, but as of right now, I think we can say, nah. Nah, man. Boom. <laughs> Stupid. It's going to be so much healing all the time. And yet we're going to die anyways here. Do we... Hmm. I don't want him... To... Well, we probably should have had him be the uh, the main main one there. When that... Active bar charges, we are in peril. Do we just let it happen? Do we just let ourselves lose one? Oh, I'm, I'm glad we didn't. Symbiote. Also, Oaken Knot. Basically, where we might have issues right now is if we have a spot where we need a second tank. The Wild Mage is doing great, but this could literally be on anyone. In fact, it would probably be better on the Frostmancer. <laughs> Which is a little ironic. I think it would just be better. Uh, but we don't really care as much about the War Mage's great staff then. Okay, so if that's the case, let's get Symbiote. Let's give you what you did, what you just want. That being said, the Frost Mage damage is probably going to be pretty bonkers here. All right. Okay. 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 Let's let's see. Let's see. The big the the problem is that he does not get the shield. That's like it. But yeah, you can see the Frostmancer is is just doing doing just as much as the Wild Mage was. And he gets a better okay. 
and he gets a better synergy based off of the uh, multi-stack physical attack because we get the guaranteed damage with the max stack frost. Uh, okay, we don't have enough money to probably justify getting great stuff there. It's fine. If we could get that item that makes it so we... Ooh, oh, we're fine. Anyways, but... Ow. Wait. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Why did we get bursted so hard? It's... It, really, it, it is eating us that the Warlord's Burden... It's, it's pretty dissynergistic. Like, whoever they, that is should kind of be in their own spot. I think what we should do is invest in the Assassin next and then tank out the Druid. So that we can have the Assassin sitting in a different corner where they can have Warlord's Burden, Dueling Blade, and Whirlwind Axe. That's my thought. That's my current thought process right now. Maybe it's silly, because I just said we need another tank, but I think we could probably we could probably buff the druid up to be a, a bit more tanky. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh! Uh, oh, that random damage is pain, man. Da da da! Da da da! Wow! Ooh. You're not going to be at or below 50%. There, nobody's going to be at or below 50% unless we put this on. Uh, do we care about the assassin having super fast rapid fire active ability? There's only so many slots. We need the war, we would need the warlord's burden and the whirlwind axe. So w would it be ancient codex next over the dueling blade? Well, he's not going to have that much max HP anyways. So the Blood Mage might be the one doing the most damage. Yep. Good. All right, we're fine now. That, yeah, he's doing the most damage, healing, tank. Like, uh, he's... <laughs> he's doing it. He's doing the most everything. All enemies, additional damage and stun. I mean, sure, sounds great to me. I can't wait to get it. Like we have a, the thing is we have a tank kit in a bottle right there. If we, if we upgrade our stuff, please. That's the, oh, that's the thing that sucks. If we get bursted right away, we are just so toast. It's certainly feeling pretty disenergistic, the 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 blade. I think we have like actively ooh. <laughs> oh, we could just it's the die. I feel like if that if that's disenergistic, then boy, what the hell is that? Um, I feel like we have to go for upgrade. I mean, that's super extreme. If we're going to do it, it's it's got to be worth it. I If I can get through this act, I'll take the speed. I, I don't really want to. 
don't want to mess right now. Oh, hell. Well, that's really nice, at least. Suplex. I'm concerned. I'm certainly concerned. If we didn't do that, we would have lost the the blood mage, but I don't think we should have done it. No! So you attack whoever has the highest HP. So it doesn't matter. Oh, God, that sucks. Come on. Okay, we might be okay. We're we're fine. Oh baby. Oh baby, not even not not even not even close. Don't don't mind the sweat. Don't mind the sweat. That is an upgraded shield of goodness right there. Okay. So buff up the druid and bring in the assassin? I think that's what we do, because we need somebody who can stand in uh, their own column and not get targeted. Okay. I'll admit, it was fun while it lasted to have that stuff on the old Frostmancer. I think we can find some better stuff. Well, this is, this is not upgraded yet. Until we upgrade the Enchanter's Chainmail, that's not necessarily that big of a deal. Okay. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> it's not that's not very this is not very good yet. Yeah, we we have Yeah, we have a handful of garbage for sure. Oh, wait. That makes sense though, because it was he had, that guy has an AOE attack. We need to. That's what we need to build around. We need to build around making sure that that don't that don't happen. Okay, that's super interesting. But then we don't. These can't be a tank though. Yeah, I, I'm lost with a lot of these items here. What our plan is. Okay. 
Okay. Good. Come on, Druid. Come on, Druid. Stay alive. Look alive, fool. Look alive. He's dead. It's fine. It's fine if we lose one here and there. So we lose the frail defense of... Wait, Realm Tooth. That is a heal for max HP. Chance to heal for max HP on attack. Part of max HP. Random abilities upgraded. Lose 60 gold. All heroes gain 15 attack next combat. We can't make it an elite fight. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. I've wanted that buffed up, so... Oh, jeez. Oh, it's pain, man. Um, he's screwed, but maybe we can deal damage to the people up there fast enough because this guy is hidden. That is a big benefit. The druid is going to die. Oh, the druid is now immune to burn, so okay. Okay. Another Whirlwind Axe. Almost certainly worth taking. All right. Uh, I mean, tis with tis here. Basically, right? Move your target away from their adjacent allies. I mean, I think this is... About as fine as we're going to expect there. Yikes. Here comes a big heal. Please! Oh, it's good damage. We are going to lose the Blood Mage. The targets are so random. I... I can't believe we've actually uh, we've probably lost this here. No, we're fine. No, we're fine. And I knew that we would be fine the entire time. Active ability. The fact that it does piercing is certainly interesting. Okay. With that in mind, wait, wait, could we? No, we need. We would need basically all three of the. Well, I guess we we kind of have symbiote built in already. I don't know. We're not upgrading it. This, this is. This is this is rough. I don't I don't love it. This is rough. 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 Okay. I mean that theoretically should make a very large difference. Um esoteric keystone 
Maybe. I twelve attack. Oops, I mean, if we had two hundred seventy gold, obviously that would be godlike. We die next combat, we die, you know? It's it's fine. We'll, we'll just make it so it's not an elite. Y yeah, we we're probably going to die here anyway, so, you know, whatever. You mean to frost, too? Nope. Yeah, we're, we're, we're probably going to die anyways. God, yeah, I don't know what to... We don't have a good layout for this uh, fight whatsoever. I guess we bank on that and that we uh, will pop them with. No, it's bad. We're, we're toast. We just auto bleed too. The good news is that poison. Never mind. The, the good news is nothing. That poison does not stay. Okay, here comes that active. Very good. There's a weird possibility on if we can get this active off. Nope, of course not. That'd be way too uh, that'd be way too good. It's okay. We we actually did shockingly good in that fight. Eh, we might get an event, who knows. We did shockingly fine there. I'm not going to be using this. I don't see myself slotting this in right now. If it was on active cast and not on 50 mana, I would put it on the wild mage. I think we could have some fun there. I think, don't think we're doing that. Don't think we're doing that anymore. Honestly, that helps out everyone, so. Potions are just really good for us right now. All right. Hello there. Hello there. You're immune to poison. Wait. Uh, to all enemy. Okay, well, you're going to die if you're not by a healer. But that's maybe fine. How much do we care about that? We could remove the Warlord's Burden, too. Well, he's going to die anyways, being over there. How much do I care? I should have cared more. What am I doing? Because now he's getting healed instead. Yeah, that was bad. We're going to be fine, but it was a very bad call. Our damage is just truly amazing, though. It is some preposterously large damage from that good old-fashioned assassin. Frost all adjacent. I'll take the buff to the uh, old frail defense. We could have sold it too. It's not a bad idea. Yep. We got double value on those bad boys. We uh, We take that. Why the hell not, right? Like, we're... 
One, two, three. Well, there, there's a good reason why the hell not, actually. We, we could theoretically lose 11. Ooh. We could theoretically lose 11. Do you do damage to all? All other allies. To a random enemy and apply bleed. Move them from their... I mean, okay. It's just... It's rough. Regardless. That makes a lot of sense. But maybe that poison stack from the assassin is going to last long enough to be okay? Yeah, no, we're fine. But this is exactly going... It's, it's very much going to show how it was not necessarily a good idea to take that morale penalty. We... We, uh... We really should, should have not done that. We really should have not done that. We need to... We need to perfect this fight. I hate that we need to perfect this fight. Because this is not a fight that is easy to perfect at all. Um, okay, we're fine now. It's not an easy one to perfect, but if we obviously blow a couple potions, it's going to be just fine. Fortifying Brew. Lover's Safeguard. Weird. Weird. Thirty percent attack. Ten poison damage. This does twenty-two. So eh, it's probably not that big of a deal. All right. Poison, frost, stun, and burn. All your status effects, ability. Okay. Seems seems good. One, two, three, one, two, three. So we have six potions, which oy, oy, oy. Let's see. I feel like we hard counter this, but I'm concerned. I put the druid in the front, obviously, because he's immune to so many of the status effects. And I put the blood mage there because we kind of we kind of want him to take damage. Because he does... Look, he's our second... D, he's, he's our second DPS right there. Wild Mage is not putting in that much work. Nor is the Frostmancer. Or maybe it's just because the Assassin's doing just so much. <laughs> the Assassin's doing so much. Going into the fight with a lot of empty items. Okay. 
I've got I've got big concerns for sure. Don't get me wrong. All right, so step one, you probably should get the hell out. Step two, whoever's in the back should be tankier. You're more likely to. You you have a shield to start. We're certainly gonna burn all the enemies. This is way better in this f section of the fight. That as well, right? I feel pretty satisfied with those things. Oh, we have an extra. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Good. Come on. Oh, that was that was way tighter than I wanted there. But we should be good. Max stack assassin should be doing some pretty preposterous damage here. And that he is. Look at that. Negate is going to be uh, doing pretty much a nothing. Let's get it. Okay. Good, we're fine. We are so unbelievably fine. Assassin. What is negate? What is negate? Son of a gun, man. Holy moly! The Fiend is unlocked. We've officially unlocked every single character in the game, and that is Corruption 8. Done, son. This is the Fiend. When you are knocked out, you do not lose morale and will heal 30% HP after 9 seconds. You gain 1 MP per second for every active stack of bleed. When you were knocked out, you do not lose morale. Cool, that's great. I like that. You heal 30% HP after 9 seconds. Okay. <laughs> that's so, God, that's so strange. You gain 1 MP per second for every active stack of bleed. Your active is deal attack damage to your target and heal them for the damage dealt. Apply bleed. What? <laughs> Deal 100% attack damage to your target and heal for the damage. Oh, heal. I read it as heal them for the damage dealt. Oh, okay. And heal for the damage dealt. That is uh, that is really interesting. Apply bleed equal to 10% of your max HP. What is that? No wonder this boy is sitting up. Oh, I guess he's kind of at this table. I was going to say, he's kind of like at the... Uh, it's kind of like the outlaw, but not. I yeah. Well, we're, we'll have to figure that out. But anyway, tomorrow is uh, corruption eight with the ranger. So I'm excited to check that out. But that is going to do it for today. The blood mage is busted. I think the Blood Mage was routinely, basically, if, if not our number one DPS, like, slightly, like, right behind the Assassin there. Uh, and our highest damage taken and our highest damage healed. That's pretty crazy, man. It's a pretty crazy character. Don't nerf him. I love him, though. Thank you, everybody, for watching. This has been Astronarch. If you have not picked up the game yet, remember that you can pick it up with the link at the top of the description. That is, it'll take you to my Nexus store, nexus.gg slash retromation. You can find 
a whole bunch of games there that are personally curated, ones that I think are great and worth your time. And any game you purchase on that shop, you will get a Steam key. They're straight from the devs. They're for Steam. There's nothing gray market about it. It's uh, the people who formerly did Chrono, very trustworthy. Uh, the only difference is I get a little bit of a cut of the sale. So you can help support the channel while you buy this game or you buy any any big game. So if there's ever any big games you've learned uh, from me that you have not picked up that you want to pick up, consider going to the Nexus store and just throwing me... Uh, you, you basically throw me a, a little uh, a little buck or two just by buying the game you were going to buy already. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. Check out the channel for Roguelikes more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.